All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back again to Kenny Fan TV. We had a bit of international break, but we're back to the big leagues again, especially back in the Premier League. Today, we have a special guest, Kalade from Nigeria, all mm. with Nigeria. Not that you had to travel, <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, from betting expert Nigeria. I mean, a lot of, a lot of guys in Kenya or well, girls as well would definitely like to have some mm -hmm. in what the predictions might be coming this weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just go get to know. So we can just go right in there. What you thinking might think. I mean, how how did the internationals go for you guys anyway for Nigeria this week? <clears throat> yeah, oh, it went well for us. Yeah, not so well because against Rwanda, I mean, I think we should have won the game. But it was good to see Victor Osimhen, you know, get a goal once again, you know, get his confidence back up. And uh, I think, yeah, we're looking positive at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing here in Kenya as well, at least they had a decent result. I mean, I know mm. nothing compared to Nigeria. I mean, you guys are a big turn up in these competitions. <laughs> Kenya is just yeah, a yeah. <laughs> And uh, coming back to the European games, I mean, I know on your channel, you guys do a lot of, uh, European leagues, you know, us we kind of concentrate more on the Premier League because you know the Premier League is kind of big in Africa, <laughs> you know, as you of know. It's... Yeah. So, I mean, what's your take so far? The first three games, I mean, how's 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 it gone for you? Yeah, I think it's pretty much gone uh, the way I would have expected it to go. Uh, I'm an Arsenal fan, so <laughs> my perspective on things are a bit, you know, uh, I feel like. <laughs> I always expect too much every game week because no matter what you do, I mean, I'm talking from an Arsenal perspective, you've got Guardiola that would always do better. If someone scores two goals, then there's an Alan scoring three goals. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it's only game week three, but I think I'm, I'm giving up already. City are unstoppable, man. Those yeah. guys are unstoppable. It's, it's, yeah. uh, they're, looking, they're looking sharp. They're looking sharp. Mm -hmm. we've got, so we've got a big games of the week this week. Uh, yeah. but we can start off slowly I, I would like to say mm -hmm. we can start off to, with the big boys but I don't know about my United nowadays <laughs> so no, yeah, they are not they are not big boys they're not they're not they're not they're not part of it they're not part of it yeah they're not yeah. part of it okay so what, what do we have for, the, for the matches so we got my United for, for the, yeah we got my United Southampton I mean how's how's that looking for you yeah, to be uh, to be fair, yeah, United have not been at their best, you know, this season. You know, they started the first two games without uh, a striker. You know, they've been playing Fernandez as a false nine, and he's yet to score. He's yet to assist this season as well. But history suggests that United and Southampton, you know, United have a very good record against them, and uh, I think they should have a very very easy win this time around. I think they should have a very easy win. You think what well, you think United they're going away to Southampton now? Yeah, yeah, no, I think they'll win this one. They'll win this one easy. So how's yeah. that looking, Mammy? What 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 are you predicting the scoreline could be in that game then? Two new for United. Yeah. Oh, that's a that, that's a lot of confidence, man. I, I don't know if I have that confidence in United. <laughs> oh, <it's Southampton. laughs> no, I, I I don't have that confidence in them as well. But you know, when you're making predictions, you throw you you throw your emotions away, man. You know, if you ask me off the record, yeah, what what I think that game will end, I'll probably tell you I want Southampton to win. But logically, yeah, uh, I think United win that one. Okay, then. So that's 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 you got them down for two 0 United. Okay, so let's move on to the, yeah. the the later game. That's the early kickoff. So of course we can start with the the big boys. Uh, we can go mm -hmm. for City. City versus yeah. Brentford. I mean, that's. I think that sort of just says it for itself, doesn't it? I would say it doesn't exactly say it for itself because every top side in the Premier League over the years they have like their boogie team, yeah. And if you look at City, the team that has been their boogie team is Brentford. Brentford beat them last season, so Brentford psychologically they have that ill factor like we can get a result. But since it's at the Etihad and we. And Ellie Haaland looking to score three hat tricks already. I think Brentford lose this one, you know. Three new for City. Three or four new for City. Three, four new. You, you think Haaland hat trick again? No, but maybe a brace. Maybe a brace. Yeah, maybe, maybe a brace. He just, he just keeps yeah. on going. He's a machine. Then I'll okay, move on to the, the next, uh, what potential title contenders? Liverpool versus uh, Nottingham Forest. I mean, this yeah. could be. Well, a little bit of a banana skin. I'm I'm a little bit still unsure about Liverpool. 
you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I won't, I'm not going to blow the horn like everyone else has been so far. It's uh, three games. I mean, yeah, they had Man United. It was a, I wouldn't call Man United a real test. No, you, you can't, we can't count Man United. Does it? That's not a test. <laughs> That's not a test. Yeah, but Liverpool and uh, Nottingham Forest, uh, on paper, yeah, that's the most straightforward game you would get on paper. Yeah, but you know, games are no one on paper. And uh, last season as well, Nottingham Forest gave Liverpool a very tough time. But one thing people need to note about Liverpool is that, yes, they did not make any signings and whatnot, but they maintained their core. You know, their key players are still there in defence. You know, Fredrick Van Dijk, Mitchell now, they've got guys, they've got Salah, you know. They still have their core, you know, maintained. And I think... That's what we'll see them mount as title challengers this season as well. So contrary to what people think, like it's between City and Arsenal, I think it's between City, Arsenal and Liverpool. Yeah, and you put Liverpool in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll put them in there easy. I think they might even pose more of a challenge than Arsenal if Arsenal are not careful. Yeah, so I think, yeah, this one is a straightforward win for Liverpool as well. You know, Very maybe different. 3-1. Yeah, 3-1 over 3. That's a big boy prediction, okay. Then, okay, yeah. then after that, we're moving on to Fulham versus West Ham. Yeah. And then... Fulham, uh, West Ham. Yeah, it's, London, uh, London it's, Derby. It's game. So. Yeah, it's a London Derby, to be fair. And it's something that can go either way on paper, you know. You could say Fulham Fulham could win and you could have valid points. And you could say West Ham to win and you'd have valid points as well. But, you know, Fulham, you know, over the past two weeks, they've shown, uh, two game weeks, rather, they've shown that you know, they are ready to bring in that attacking flair and, you know, score goals as well. But I think West Ham would just edge it. So 2-1. West Ham would just edge it slightly. So 2-1 for West 2-1. Ham. And a way victory. Yeah. No way victory. Okay. West Ham looking looking like a dangerous team. Okay. And then we got, mm. after that, we got, uh, oh, this, this should be a good match. Crystal Palace, Leicester City. Yeah. It should be a good match, to be fair, because... Uh, you really don't know what to get from that game, but the way I see it, though, Palace, Palace come out with all three points at home. Under Oliver Glasner, like they've been one of the best sides, especially at home mm. in 2024. They've got one of the top, uh, top home records in the league, and I think they're just going to build on that momentum. And Leicester have not really convinced anyone, you know, so far to show that they can mount any problems. So Palace to win, and I would say maybe AJ, AJ to score. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Palace, Palace just have a decent start. I mean, they're both, yeah, it's going to be a tight game, that one. Yeah. yeah when you look at it. Then after that, we're looking at uh, Brighton against the new boys, Ipswich. We put in a quite a shift yeah, against Liverpool in the first game. Yeah, but, you know, it's just the initial energy, you know, there's always that initial outburst of energy when you side come in the first two games, they want to make an impression. Mm. That oh we are not pushovers we can compete against the big sides but at the end of the day quality will always be evident it's easy to see that if switch they don't look prepared they don't look quality enough to compete against the Premier League sides and uh, at home I mean at home against Brighton I think they they are just going to get a lot of the defeat yeah Brighton to win at Brighton to win probably three or four nil yeah Brighton Brighton big, Brighton a dangerous big. team Brighton a very dangerous. They're a dangerous team. I have a lot of respect for them. A lot of fear as well. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yes, just before we move into the next one, I want everyone watching this, please subscribe. Also, tell us as well where they can find you as well, man, Kolade. Yeah, you can subscribe to Betting Expert Nigeria and uh, we give all our live tips, updates, analysis, and also our weird and funny takes on latest football happenings, you know, all over the globe. So yeah, Betting Expert Nigeria. Yeah, on YouTube, Twitter, and other socials as well. TikTok as well. That's it. There you go, guys. That's where you hear it. All right, then. We went through the Saturday games. Now we're mm-hmm. moving on to the Sunday coming in. Uh, we're going to be kicking off first game on Sunday. Go straight in. The North London derby. <laughs> Tottenham Arsenal. Huh? That's that's <laughs> going to be... That's, that's the hard one. Uh-huh. It's a hard one to call, and uh, you can see, I, I, I honestly didn't plan for this, but I'm actually wearing my Arsenal jersey at the moment. I didn't plan for it. It was actually coincidental that I'm wearing my Arsenal jersey. Yeah, at the moment. yeah. yeah, and uh, to be fair, on a normal day, I would have, you know, I, I take away my emotions when it's time to make predictions. I'm an Arsenal fan, and I'm not just going to say 
Arsenal would win because I'm an Arsenal fan. But mm. Arsenal have the best away record, not just in the Premier League, but in Europe when you consider 2024. Arsenal are yet to lose away from home. So Arsenal have the best away record in Europe. So to not be out of place to say Arsenal would win. But given what has happened over the past two weeks, now Arsenal could be without Odegaard for about three to four weeks. Declan Rice is missing from that game due to a suspension. Everything is not really looking good at the moment for Arsenal because of injuries. And also when you consider that there's a Champions League game just in, uh, in midweek uh, against Atalanta. So Ateta might have to play cultures against Spurs. And uh, with that in mind, I wouldn't go for Arsenal to win. I wouldn't go for Arsenal to win. I think maybe that game will lean towards a draw. A, a draw. draw. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to need some maybe, uh, performances. Yeah, maybe a high scoring Maybe an eye scoring draw like like it happened last season, two two. Maybe an eye scoring draw like two two or one one. But I I I think Arsenal still have enough quality to win, but they might just try to play on the court just a bit because key players are missing and they've got Champions League fixture in midweek, so they will want to manage the resources in the best way. So more likely a draw. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be a tight one. All right then. Mm. Then we got after that we're looking at the the bit of a later game, Wolves versus Newcastle. Actually, I mean this yeah. is one game. I you know if you're a fan, I would watch this game because I think there might be goals in this game. There would be goals. Absolutely, there would be goals. I mean, when you consider a side like Wolves, their defensive record is dire at the moment. You know, they're they're nothing to write on at the back. You saw what Chelsea did to them. You know, mm. recently the six years, six, current six goals against them. They look very shaky at the back and they have this tendency to keep on, you know, playing all out. They play very high line and they don't have the players to to try and fit in the system they're trying to play. So that's why it keeps them susceptible at the back. They keep on considering those because the tactics they're trying to employ does not work for the players they have. So if they play the same way they played against Chelsea and they try to eat Newcastle, Newcastle, you know, obviously deal with them on the counter and that could result to a lot of goals. So but I'll say two new wins for Newcastle. Two new. Could yeah. be more, but two new at the very least. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean Newcastle, I mean they 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 started well the season so far. Yeah. I mean yeah. they they knew to with the kind of money they're throwing around, you know. Uh of course. okay, then after that we're moving along. We got the the hit and miss team. <laughs> I like to like to call it <laughs> Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Yeah, Bournemouth versus Chelsea. <clears throat> to be fair. I'm not one of those guys that I'm not I was not carried away by Chelsea's, you know, six nil six nil scoreline to be fair. When I mean six to when they beat Wolves. Yeah. I could only see that I could only see that they beat Wolves in that game because they had better attackers up front, because they had the same issues, you know. They they were pegged back twice and that shows that their defense is also not good enough, you know, to be fair. And when they meet the side that can at least score, they will get punished, you know, like we've seen. So to be fair, anyone thinking Chelsea are going to have a straight run at that is going to be very wrong. And the uh, bomb out at home can be very stubborn as well. So I think it's just it's going to be a close one. But two one for Chelsea. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. I'm 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 not being so impressed with Chelsea. I mean it seems to be doing the same thing. But again, it's a new manager, so we'll have to see. Uh give him a bit yeah. of time. Not everyone can start the way mm-hmm. slot the Liverpool. So then not everyone got City in the first three games as well. <laughs> so yeah. Not gonna be easy. Okay, then then finally, <laughs> Aston Villa versus Everton. Uh I mean, I kinda uh. <laughs> I, I I think we don't we don't need to waste our time with this game. Is it's going to be very one sided. Yeah. Villa all the way, man. Villa are going to run riot against Everton. Everton have been abysmal. You know, they've not they're yet to win at all and uh I don't know, they've been escaping relegation, you know, somehow for the past, you know, three seasons. But I think this season, finally, if they are not careful, this might be the season they suffer the drop. You know, especially when you consider they are, they are not just struggling on the pitch, they are struggling off the pitch as well with cases. You know, they literally escaped, you know, a point deduction as well. But everything is just so unbalanced for Everton at the moment. Aston Villa to win 3 0. Yeah, it might not be. I mean, uh, Una Emery has done a brilliant or job. Maybe three, yeah, maybe three, yeah, maybe 3-1. I think they might score, so 3-1. Yeah, it could be. That's, 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 a, that's a decent prediction. Una Emery is having a good time at Aston Villa at the moment. You know, he's he's, he's just changed. Yeah. He's turned that team into a different force. But I see, I think the Champions League might 
affect them a bit this season. It's not mm-hmm. easy. Yeah, it's easy to try to balance both of those trophies competition. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Okay, then. So that's that's the game for the weekend, for the fourth weekend. Who are you... Which players would you say keep an eye out? Which players would you pick out for the weekend? I mean, I would I would mention the obvious names, but I don't want to go for the most obvious. I mean, the most obvious name being Alan and Salah. So I don't want to I don't want to go, you know, for those guys. So I want to stick with the less uh, popular names. I don't know if people have been paying attention to uh, Rogers, Rogers of Aston Villa. Hmm. Yeah, yes, it's, it's looked very sharp. It's someone that we should keep an eye out for. I think when it finally explodes, it's going to be on another level as well. And uh, ironically, yeah, people don't believe in uh, Ayavert. I don't know why he's the most polarizing player at the moment. Some people like him, some people don't like him. But I think what he offers to Arsenal in terms of his profile is something very unique. And I think uh, in a game that could be very tight, Ayavert could be, you know, it could be something that could help Arsenal unlock that game in terms of goals, especially his aerial threat as well. Then as much as I don't really... Uh, Fancy Chelsea at the moment, or uh, Madueke is playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. And I think against the former outside, he's, he's going to have a game where we enjoy himself. Okay, then. And then finally, let me just, I want to get your opinion. I know it's early this season, early fourth game. Uh, yeah. If you were to do it now, who are you going to pick your mm-hmm. top four? Who's going to be, who's your top four come the end of the season? In no, in no particular order at all. Uh, or let me even put let me no in in order in order in order in order okay yeah. okay let me put an order to it city I mean I'm an Arsenal fan and trust me I'm yeah, yeah same here I'm Arsenal as well man but I can't see them past but, 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 but being logical yeah I think City win again uh Arsenal finish second Liverpool finish third and Aston Villa finish fourth okay. Wow, that's 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 uh... Arsenal, Liverpool, and Aston Villa. Yeah, Spurs, the likes of Spurs, Newcastle, United, Chelsea, and they'll be they'll be somewhere below the top four. All right, man. Glad, yeah. man. It was good talking to you, man. You're doing big things over there in the channel, man. Anytime, it'd be good to have this conversation with you guys. Come over and of talk course, to predictions. Anyway, we'll be happy to have you on board as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. guys, guys, you heard this here, man. Anyway, subscribe, please subscribe. You're always watching and not subscribing. So we're gonna be here at the end of this end of this weekend for the for the reviews on the games. Keep an eye out. All right, Kalade, man. Appreciate it, man. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, man.